Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about more categorizations for binary forms. So as usual there are some more words to learn that will help us understand a little bit more about how a composer organized the material that they were using. So the first two go together, sectional and continuous binary. So a sectional binary is one uh, where the A section ends with an authentic cadence, whether it be a perfect authentic, which is more usual, or an imperfect authentic in the tonic key, so the key of the whole piece. Uh, if it doesn't, then it's a continuous binary. So just look at the end of the A section. If it's got an authentic cadence in whatever key the piece started in, then it's sectional. If not, it's continuous. A balanced binary is one where the endings of the A section and the ending of the B section are pretty much the same. So we're not looking for them to be exactly the same, just similar enough that they're reminiscent of one another. Uh, for instance, you could have the A section, the end of the A section be in a different key from the end of the B section. So the notes would be different, but the shape of it and the cadence would be the same, and so we could call that balanced. If it's not the same, we don't call it unbalanced, we just sort of leave it alone. Uh, and then same with symmetrical. Symmetrical binary, if the A section is roughly the same length within a measure or two of the B section, then it's symmetrical. If it's not, then we're just going to leave it. We're not going to say it's an asymmetrical binary. Okay, so let's look at the two pieces that we uh, looked at for the basic binary forms. So with the uh, with the new words in mind, is this continuous or is it sectional? So we look to the end of the first section, the A section. We see we have a perfect authentic cadence in D major there. Since D major was not the key of the um, of the opening, so not the tonic key, it's going to be a continuous binary rather than sectional. Uh, then we're going to look for balanced or not balanced. So is it balanced? Is the ending the same? Um, no, not really. Uh, so even though it's in different keys, it doesn't have exactly the same shape. Uh, it doesn't work the same way. So it's we'll just leave it. It's not balanced. And then finally, is it symmetrical? So is this part the same length as this part? It is. Uh, and so what we're going to do is call this a simple, continuous, symmetrical binary form. Okay, the next one. Oh, Susanna. So same questions, but this time you figure it out. Okay, so we looked to the end of the A section, we saw that it had a cadence in the original key, so it's a sectional binary. The ending is exactly the same in the B section as it is in the A section, so it's balanced. And the two parts are the same length, so it's um, symmetrical. So we have a rounded, sectional, balanced, symmetrical binary form. I know this seems like a lot of words, if you just make a few flashcards, uh, you can learn them pretty quickly, and I think they're fairly easy to apply. So go forth and label binary forms.